Hello, welcome back to Gates of Hell. My name is Duplex, and today we're doing a Cold War beach assault somewhere in the Baltics. Um, yes, we're using the Hot Mod, which is available uh, on the Steam Workshop. It adds a great number of Cold War era weapons and vehicles and soldiers and stuff that I think apply pretty well on the uh, standard vanilla maps of uh, Gates of Hell. I'm very excited about this one. I found myself a coastline. I found myself some UEs. I found myself some APCs and a lot of Soviets and AKs. And we're gonna have a pretty cool beach assault to see who will win today. Um, yes. I believe we've done a few beach assaults previously. At least one in Gates of Hell using a... Um, I believe it was the Valor mod that added the Americans... I would like to see more naval assets for Gates of Hell. Although, I would say, there weren't a lot of um, naval landings in uh, on the Eastern Front. But, of course, when this game moves further down the line, I'm sure we'll see plenty of marine units and other cool things. I want them to go further. They've taken... They've taken it further with airplanes before, and I want to see bigger ships. Why not? Dare to do it. Um, I, I believe this could very well be a great naval game as well. I mean, you don't have to have, like, sea battles, but, you know, like, like assets that, that would be very applicable, in, 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 even in land battles on the sea. Anyway, guys, enough of that. I uh, hope you guys have been good. I, I've took, taken a small winter break. The holidays are coming up, the Christmas that I'll be celebrating, of course. Um, and uh, um, I'm not sure what I've got planned. I think we're going to do some more hot mod videos because this mod is great. It has a lot of cool units and more more factions to experience. And it just works, as I said, very well with Gates of Hell. And I think we're going to do some other games too. I'm excited. Um. Mm. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this um, beach invasion going. And let's see who will, who will take home the, the victory today. Will it be the Soviets or perhaps the Americans? Got some anti-aircraft guns opening up there in the distance. Oh, oh, a little too low there, Ivan. Oh, here comes the beach party. Oh, they're coming in slow. We're going to zoom back a little bit because I think you guys might have figured out what's coming soon. Those AA guns are trying to strike them down. I want to be ready for when it happens because it's going to be explosive. I'll tell you that much. Oh, shit! Nice! Good way to soften up the defenses. There are more air units overhead, and here comes the beach party. Shore party, shore party. We've got a variety of APCs, mortar carriers, gun carriers, and uh, straight up troop transports as well. And they're coming in with their 50 cals, head hitting the first beach defenses. Oh, something happened. Well, this vehicle's malfunctioned, clearly. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, the crew members are going to be shot dead outside the vehicle. Gruesome indeed. Move, 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 Marines! This beach isn't heavily defended, but there are some obstacles and defenses that they have to topple. Counts providing support. The mortars are firing for full effect as well. AT infantry trying to knock out that BMP-1. Oh! Very nice to sort of like scroll, scroll through here and get an idea of the scale. We're going to have some US armor push in soon that have arrived from a different beachhead. The Soviets have received reinforcements. Red Army soldiers on the ground.
Very nice. They're just using the terrain here as cover. There's not much in the open, but they're still trying to hold their ground. Let's lower the volume a little bit there. Infantry moving up under heavy fire. The Marines use the M14. I believe. I think I have to be confident and believe in my knowledge, but sometimes it's just... The easy, uh, the easy answer is that'll that'll get you wrong. We got uh, another BMP1 on the uh, US right flank there. They're trying to hold the trenches. They're still being contested, so there's going to be a fight here. The APCs are moving up now. That, I believe the, that means the armor has arrived to support. We've got a uh, Sheridan and a demo, demo tank here, a demolition vehicle. This one is uh, essentially used for demolition and uh, siege siege abilities but look at that that is a great looking tank i believe it's the m728 or something like that this um if, if my memory is correct and look at them moving up oh i believe that t55 uh struck through two vehicles probably did some damage oh Heavy gun is returning fire. This this Sheridan here needs to be repaired. But the tanks are advancing. They're pushing up. Look at that. That's pretty cool to watch. Oh, hear those engines just push through. Oh, they're in slight disagreement here about who should move up first. Nice hit there. Nice. That might have shook up that tank enough to, to break it down. I believe so. The crew hatches are open. It's down. AA is still working for full effect. Let's get a nice little overview here of the area. Tanks are moving up. I'd be careful, though, getting too close. The Soviets do have AT infantry and AT weapons at their disposal. Trenches are still being contested here. That BMP-1 is still in action. It has to be brought down, probably using AT infantry. These vehicles are all bro all destroyed because of it. And the infantry here is taking heavy casualties. Bazooker. Bazooker's moving up. Oh, you had the shot. Let's see if the light anti-tank can do it. Nice. That law is going to bring it down. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. I believe it pierced through. Oh, two more on the side. Nice. Good job there by the lads. Infantry's gonna dismount. Ah! Oh. A nice, nice approach here now. APCs are moving up. Oh! Very cool. Soviet infantry arriving to reinforce. They have more troops back here moving up. This is like a whole garrison, like a whole beach, like probably about a battalion actually defending these grounds here. <laughs> Man, you gotta love that tank. I want to address the fact that I sometimes get a lot of criticism for not getting all the information straight. And I do want to make make you guys aware of the fact that it's it's not like an infographics channel. It's not like one where I make historical videos that are scripted, where I say like, in 1942, the blah, 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 you know, like I get that. You want to get that right? It's me playing a video game, making historical, sometimes unhistorical battles, where it's more so about the combat and not me memorizing like everything. But let's do a little fact check. It is the M72-8. I believe I said that. It might have said the M78-2, but regardless, that is the vehicle. Uh, this is the M55 Sheridan. Yes, M55-1 Sheridan. And was this a T55? Yes, it was. See, I'm not rubbish. Not utter trash. Infantry moving up here using this trench. We got some dis dismounted crew members as well with their uh, grease guns. That's awesome. And they're pushing up, man. 
got the grenade launchers up here as well. There's gonna be some, some close quarter fighting here. That's pretty awesome. AKs and M60s are opening up. Yeah, they're approaching here nicely now across the field. And look at that. This is this reminds me about a almost like about a battle scene in in Kherson, where we had the um, the some of these APCs were supplied by like the Australians and the Netherlands, um, I believe, uh, modified. Basically, like, basically the same type of vehicle, essentially. Maybe a little bit modernized. That we're supporting infantry attacks across these big fields. So it's a kind of a kind of a similar scene, actually. Big explosions back here. That is the CEV opening up. Um, the Sheridan seems to have been pretty much destroyed, though. It has been it has been pierced. It is basically just it's basically just spitting up some mud right now. These 50 cows are delivering, though. This place is pretty much cleared out. Looks to be a few, some Soviet remnants as well. We have some troops holding here. And now we're getting some kind of like semi-urban combat. SKS. Recording is pretty cool. Um, we do, they do have the M16, but uh, the Marines in this, at this period did not have it, apparently. So we would see it uh, more more present with the air cab and whatnot. And I believe we have some air cab gentlemen that arrived by, with the tanks, but I haven't been able to I haven't been able to track them. But if you yeah, here if you do see some if you do see some M16s, it's from the air cab. I love the way that that they work together with the APCs moving up. It's, it's almost getting Vietnam vibes, if you like, with all the mud and it's on the fields. If you replace the, the, some of these trees with with uh, palm trees. Yeah, pretty cool. Of course, there's other, not only palm trees in Vietnam, but yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see if we, I think we're going to see, see some great stuff. Um, in the Gates of Hell scene, moving up. Next year is, I think it's going to be a good year for for modding for this game. I hope so at least, because I'm I'm still desperately thrilled by these battles. Look at this! All these AKs. Seen a lot of AK-74s, or could it may, might be some earlier variant as well? Not exactly sure. Could could be an AKM that it, that it just has that um the 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 orange magazine. It's very 545, but I could be wrong. Could be an AKM. Because I know the AKM actually has those orange magazines too, and I know that thanks to playing Escape from Tarkov. Looks like the final resistance is being cleared out now as the Marines are clearing the town. That could have gone very differently if that T-55 had knocked out both of the tanks. Um, but it was a Pretty casualty heavy battle for the Americans though. They they did lose a lot of troops moving up. Some of these were absolutely destroyed. And with all the crew members killed. And uh, they did take a lot of casualties here by the landings as well. But overall, what a crazy battle. That was awesome. Let's uh, split up the casualties. Let's mark the American casualties in yellow. And the Red Army in red. I you know, you know it's a pretty pretty toxic environment when <laughs> I play the Assault Squad 2 and I mark the the Japanese soldiers in yellow. And someone assumed that I did it just because they're Japanese or Asian. Like, what? Why would I then mark the American casualties in red? It's like, wouldn't they be like maybe blue more? I don't, I think they consider themselves a little bit more like blue than red. But yeah, um, that's just because the game does ally in yellow and enemy in red. So I can't do much about that. But uh, that's just a little fun. You read some weird comments over the time. Anyway, guys, battle is over. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys want to see more hot mod videos in the future. And I will say goodbye now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.